Hey guys, this is Rohit and welcome back to Auto Clan. So today we'll be reviewing the all new Ignis 2020. So in this review, I will walk you through all the engine specifications, features, exteriors, interiors, and the price of this BS6 updated Ignis 2020. And if you want to see reviews like this, you can go ahead and check the links in the description. So right here in front of us is the Ignis Zeta manual variant. So coming to the variants, there are actually four variants. Sigma, Delta, Zeta and Alpha. Sigma being the base variant and Alpha being the top end variant. And coming to the transmissions, except for the Sigma which is the base model, the rest of the three variants which are the Delta, Zeta and Alpha are available in both manual and as well as the automatic transmissions. And coming to the prices, the Ignis Sigma which is the base variant starts from 5,77,000 rupees on road Delhi and continues up to 8,53,000 rupees for the top end variant Alpha Automatic. And under the hood, the Ignis is powered by a 4 cylinder 1.2 liter or 1200cc petrol engine that produces 81 brake horsepower and a maximum torque of 113 Newton meters. And the Ignis is only available in petrol variants. And coming to the gearbox, the Ignis gets 5 speed automatic and 5 speed manual gearbox. And the Ignis is claimed to return a mileage of 20 km per litre both for the manual and the automatic versions. So at the front you have the teeth shaped grille with the Marty Suzuki batching in the middle. So the grille along with the lights have been completely rounded with the chrome strip which gives character and highlights the front view of the Ignis. And here is the front headlight setup. So this variant gets the halogen headlights along with the side indicators in it while the top end variant gets projector headlights with TRLs. And underneath you can see the fog lamps and the provision is finished in black. And underneath the front bumper there is a skid plate which is finished in silver. The Ignis is 3.7 meters long, 1.6 meters wide, 1.5 meters in height and has a wheelbase of 2.4 meters. And the fuel tank capacity is about 32 liters. And here are the wing mirrors or the side mirrors along with the side indicators in it. And here the Ignis gets body color door handles along with the keyless entry and go for the passenger side too. Let's open the door. So the Ignis gets dual tone interiors. So you can see this white interior finish. And here the Ignis gets this nice body color door handles. And there's the button for the power window. And there's the metal finished door openers. So here is the dual tone interiors. So this is the combination of both black and the white. Which looks good. And here is the passenger side rounded air convent. And it has that carbon fiber sort of finish. And the dashboard is made of hard plastics. And coming to the safety, the Ignis gets the following features. Two airbags at the front, ABS and DVD, ISO child seat mounts, keyless entry, high speed warning, immobilizer or the anti-theft security system, speed sensing auto door locking and a rear view parking camera. And here is the glow box and it has decent space inside. And here you have the silver finished roof rails and there's the antenna. And on the sides of the body you have these three indents to give that styling which defines Ignis from the rest. And here you have the fuel lid. Alright let's go on to the driver seat. So here is the driver side door and it has some controls and buttons on it. So you can see the four buttons for the four power windows and there's lock and unlock child lock and, uh, and also a button for uh, auto folding. And finally toggle for the exterior mirrors or the ORVMs. So you can adjust the outside mirrors electrically with this toggle. And here are the door bins for the bottles and there's the speaker. And here are the driver's side air conditioning vent. And there are three buttons, one for the trip and other for the info. 
and the other button is to decrease or increase the brightness of the instrument cluster and here are the seat adjustments so here you can only adjust the reclining angle and there are the pedals and next to it you have the bonnet lever all right so we are sat in the driver seat so let's turn on the ignition so here is the instrument console and the console is pretty basic and there's all the information and the dials you need so on the extreme left you have the tachometer and in the center you have the speedometer and on the right side there's the digital odometer so the digital odometer shows all the required information it shows the time temperature the kilometers run and also you can set the trip so by pressing the info button it shows the driving time and also you can increase or decrease the brightness of the odometer instant fuel economy and uh, and also the average fuel economy So it has all the things you need. And here is the steering. This is a tilt adjustable steering, not a telescopic one. And there are controls on the left side to control the infotainment. And underneath you have the controls for the phones and uh, voice inputs. And here is the infotainment screen. So this is the Maruti Suzuki's uh, Smart Play Studio. So through the infotainment you can text call play music and there's also Apple CarPlay and uh, Android Auto for your phone and there you can see it shows the time date and the day and there are controls on the either side So here you have settings so you can set the display and all these functions And here are the controls for the volume. Let's turn it off. And underneath the infotainment there's a hazard switch. And here is the rotary style automatic climate control system. This climate control system looks nice. And there's a screen in between to display the temperature. So on the right side you have the controls for the fan speed. And on the left you have the controls for the temperature. So it has pretty much all the controls for the climate control system. And underneath there's a power socket which is a 12 volts 120 watts. And on the right side there's both aux and uh, USB. and there is some space to put the phone and there are two cup holders and here is the gear knob this is a 5 speed manual gear box and here is the handbrake and here is the irvm or the rearview mirror and here you have the reading lights and here is the sunshade there is no vanity mirror inside all right let's get back to the rear seats so the rear doors open wide enough and you have the power window button and there is the silver finished door openers and here you have a bottle holder along with the speaker And the first thing you notice is there's a lot of room here. The Ignis has lot of color options to choose from. So there's the Nexa blue, gray, silver, pearl architect white which are available for all the variants and there are two exceptional colors which are not available for the base variant which is the Sigma and they are uh, turquoise blue and uh, lucent orange. And that's how the dash looks. So here you can see there's ample legroom and headroom and a person of 6 feet can easily sit here. 
and there are no ac vents at the back and also no charging ports and the windows are large and you have decent view and here is the grab handle and also the seat gets adjustable headrests and there are also options for the dual tone color variants and these dual tone color options are only available for the zeta and the alpha and they are the nexa blue with black roof nexa blue with the silver roof and the lucent orange with the black roof and this is how the ignis looks from the back Let's open the boot. So the boot capacity is about 260 liters and also the rear seats can be folded in a 60/40 split. And here you have a trunk light. and underneath there is a space saving spare wheel uh let me set this properly all right all right let's close it and here is the rear wiper along with the defogger and on the top there is a high mount led stop lamp so underneath the rear bumper there is a rear skid plate which is finished in silver and also there are parking sensors and here are the tires these are 15 inch tires so this variant gets alloy wheels while the lower variant gets wheel caps and also there is an option for steel wheels and the ground clearance is about 180 mm or 18 cm which is decent for indian roads here is the front tire and coming to the brakes the ignis gets disc brakes at the front and uh, drum brakes at the rear The Ignis is assembled in Japan, India, Hungary and Algeria. So this is the facelift version of the previous Ignis and it is BS6 upgraded and is only available in petrol variants. And also the Ignis has 3 star rating out of 5 for the safety. So that's all for today guys. I hope that you liked the review and uh, please uh, like and share and don't forget to subscribe our channel for more such videos and reviews. So thank you and have a nice day.